Paul, this year has been uh, a year of development for WSI. Tell us about the Optima product that was announced earlier this year, and then we'll get into the iPad app. Sure, thank you. Um, so in late April, we released the Pilot Brief Optima product, which is a browser product. It leverages um, Microsoft Silverlight technology to have a really rich mapping experience so we can allow customers, pilots, to layer all types of different weather information and control on the fly how it is depicted in terms of transparency and which rendering order. And then about a month and a half after that, we came up with a companion application, the Pilot Brief Optima iPad application, and that's what we're here at MBAA 2011 telling people about. Okay, so much of the functionality, all of the functionality from the browser application is carried over. How much makes it to the iPad? Much. I would say the core functionality. The browser product retains some of the what we'll call legacy charts and charting to keep people comfortable with it, but we have on the iPad application route-centric briefing. So you enter departure destination, you pick the route, and then you can generate a full route briefing with departure weather, in route weather, NODAMs, as well as destination weather and NODAMs as well. Who are the customers for this? I know the iPad seems to be showing up in everybody's flight bag. Somebody estimated that to have all the charts you'd need to fly the world would weigh 80 pounds if it was in paper. Uh, who are the customers you're seeing? Where's the demand coming from? Well, you've answered the question, actually. Everybody. So, you know, everybody from private pilots to Alaska Airlines is now a customer. As you might know, they've issued iPads to all their pilots, and uh, they're using WSI Pilot Brief Optima. But in terms of the business aviation world, yes, everybody, all of our current customers, are all asking for it, and we're happy to be able to have that service to provide them. Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics and the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidyne. Okay, now what are the capabilities of the iPad uh, and Optima together? I, I know that you guys are known primarily for pre-flight briefing products. Tell us the different things that this, this product can do and, and at what different stages of planning your flight. So it is primarily a pre-flight planning tool currently. So it's really good for route planning in terms of making better routing decisions. You have access to what's called EWIN certified forecasting group. We have a group in three different locations around the globe who are forecasting for major airlines and their forecasts are delivered both graphically and in textual format to the Pilot Brief Optima product suite. So you're actually able to use en route forecasts for icing, convection, turbulence, volcanic ash dispersion even, right? All that information is available to make those better routing decisions, especially on longer flights. And then also in terms of just prior to departure, the iPad application and the Optima iPad application is really good. We have a whole station page where you can save a bunch of stations that you're interested in, certainly your departure destination and some others, favorites. And you can quickly get a glance of the current weather situation for that particular station. We include a small map at the top of the application for a station page. So I can see that being really useful for someone out on the ramp right before departure in the business aviation world. You know, they know the V IPs coming through the gate, right? They know there's weather moving in. They could quickly just pull up the station page, get the radar picture, also the latest uh, observations, and, and even you know, NOTAM information is there as well. Uh, so, so things like that in terms of both the, the longer pre-flight planning, the standard briefing, and then the right before the abbreviated briefing, if you will, right before departure is a really good tool for the, for the, for all those. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. 
Okay, now you've described a lot of information that's available before a flight. Obviously, if you could store information, station information on your departure and your arrival and maybe a, a number of alternates along the way, it would be really handy to have access to that in flight, but once you walk into the airplane, you're going to lose connectivity on your iPad. Are you guys working on availability of having that information archived? Yes, so that is on a very near-term roadmap. Currently, we're working on getting a bit the in-route hazards that we talked a little bit about depicted on the IMAP. That'll be done uh, probably before someone actually sees this, uh, and so it's it's within a week or two here. And we'll be releasing that, and then and then our next step is that uh, caching of the last information that you've looked at, so that you can see it when you lose connectivity, if you will. So yeah, that, that's on the very near-term roadmap for the product. Okay, now the, the Optima application for the iPad is a free download but requires the subscription service to be in place. What does this cost if someone is thinking of running out and doing this? Because obviously, almost everybody who walks by here now has an iPad. What does it cost to get into Optima? So the basic cost for a single user is uh, $39 a month but we've created packages for this context for flight departments. So, for example, for five users, it's $99 a month. So basically for the price of two and a half, if you will, you, you get five. So we're, we're cognizant of, of uh, you know, multiple users and in that flight department context, and we've priced it accordingly. Okay, is there anything you want to tell us about where the company might be going from here? What, what do you guys have on the drawing board? And if you can't be specific, I'll understand. Uh, I can't be specific, <laughs> uh, but what you'll see is we intend to make the uh, Pilot Brief Optima iPad application a, as rich as possible. And on the Pilot Brief Optima itself, one of the next things that you'll see from us are forecasted graphic products. So very soon, in the very near future, you'll also see forecasted radar, for example, out at least 24 hours. I'm pushing for longer for that. We have models that run longer for that, um, but you'll see at least you'll be able to step through hourly out in time to see where precipitation will be, and that will be a global product. Pretty soon I'll be able to be a TV weatherman with just an iPad behind me. Um, uh, come visit us in Andover and I'll make that happen, actually. <laughs> All right, well, I want to thank you for, for bringing us up to date and for demonstrating the product and uh, have a great show. Thank you, Paul, I appreciate it. <laughs>